Happy Chinese New Year, everyone! <laughs> and thank you very much for Toastmaster today to introduce me. And now, I'm going to change the tone from a festive tone to a very serious tone. When was the last time that you think about death? Always. Always. That's a very interesting <laughs> answer. Because most of the time, we don't really think about death. Because of the inherent characteristic of death. It is a very unpleasant topic. And in most cultures, especially Chinese, during Chinese New Year, it's a taboo to speak about death. And yet today, I would like to share with you a personal experience and what have I learned from this experience with death. It all began in a very mundane day, just like today. I was there editing a video and just working into the night. And when I turned on my instant message, I saw a very peculiar message, which is from my mom. Normally, my mom would not WhatsApp me at all. And yet that day, she WhatsApp me. So I was like, what's wrong? When I opened the message, it was only four simple sentences. And yet, that four simple sentences is as if I opened Pandora box. And my whole world actually dropped into a deep, Chasm. The four simple messages was, your aunt has just passed away. I will go and accompany your grandma. You don't need to come back because grandma says that it's very hard for you to come back. And don't feel guilty of not being able to come back because we all understand. At that point, I think my heart, my heart broke. And I was really deep down in the torrent of depression. In my dark world, I was very lucky that around me I have very wise acquaintances. That's why suddenly a, a, line, a light of wisdom shone into my life. When I was applying for leave to actually fly back to Malaysia, my boss actually told me one thing when I told him, if I suddenly cry when I work, don't ask me why. He actually told me that when someone died, the person's suffering actually ended. And yet, people around this particular person suffers more. This particular sentence is very simple, paradoxical, and yet insightful. For us who are still living, we are actually inflicting suffering upon ourselves without ourselves knowing. Like me, after reading the message, I was dropped into a very deep black chasm that I thought that it is naturally that, that I have to actually go through. But no, I have a choice to actually see if I have to suffer or not. And this actually goes to the second learning that I had during this whole experience when I was attending the funeral of my aunt. Emotions are very powerful. As Toastmasters, we know that we need to use emotions to move our audience. And yet when you are negative, you actually will affect people around you. But that negativity is actually an energy. Question is, how do you convert this energy due to something positive? I am sad and, and I deeply miss my aunt a lot. She's a hero to me because she's very kind. She is actually a survivor of cancer twice. And she lived her life positively. And at that time, my heart aches. But the interesting part is that I saw that my mom, my uncle, actually swapped from the first day when I saw them to the second day. They actually channeled this energy to tell my grandmother that I will take good care of you. That is a very interesting energy. And I think Thai people, all of you can relate to this. All of, all, all of us who live in Thailand will relate to this because we just lost a great man in Thailand. And I recently saw an ad 
that resonates with the message that I'm talking here, which is, if you miss Father, do as He has taught us. If I were to use Thai, this is the exact message. So when I miss my aunt, I could just emulate the good things that she has done, and she will still be here with us. And I think this is very interesting and amazing. The last thing that I learned is that in the face of death, most of the things don't matter anymore. Steve Jobs once said, death is the best tool for you to use whenever you need to make big decisions. Because whatever external expectations, your pride means nothing in front of death. And what is left is what is important. And I would like to paraphrase this to each and every one of you. Whenever you have fights or disagreements with your loved ones, ask yourself this question. If he or she is going to die tomorrow, will what you are fighting over now matter? The reason why this question is important, because the earlier you do this, when the worst happens, you will not regret it, because you will make the correct decision. This is a very important tool in relationship. This is the last thing that I've learned. When it comes to death, we are all amateurs. We haven't faced death ourselves before. But some of us may be lucky, may be unlucky. They may have lost someone before. This is why it makes them wiser. And for those of us who haven't experienced this before, I plead that you appreciate people around you. Because this is what Chinese New Year is about. It's about getting together, really, really see what each other is doing, and caring for people around you that is important to you. With this, I wish you Happy Chinese New Year. And to think about death is also to think about life. Thank you.